Hello everyone, my name is Greg and I dev stuff. Welcome everyone to episode 36 of Stardew Valley like game in Unity. In this episode we will implement time skip system. This episode is brought to you by generous support of people on Patreon and members on YouTube. If you want to join them, link to my Patreon in the description and join button available right now on YouTube. In this episode we want to make a time skip system. We will need this function for features like sleeping in bed for example. Open the daytime controller script. Find time agents. Here we calculate the phase shift which flow over time. Which invokes the times agents so they will react according to the time. We want to expand here to make them take into account the days. Scroll up and create a new constant variable called phase in day. Calculate how many phases your day has based on phase length. Try to keep this number whole without anything after the comma. Back to the time agents. Assign minus 1 to old phase as default. And now we want to check if the old phase is minus 1. That means that the phase wasn't calculated yet. So we have to recalculate the actual current phase. To do this we can extract the phase calculation into the separate method. Now inside the calculate phase we should use days to calculate total phases. Then inside the time agents call while old phase is less than current phase iterate the invoke of the agents. This will make it so if the shift in time occur while being on the scene, this will iterate all the agents on the scene according to the shift in time. So for example we moved for one hour forward in time. So the time agents will be iterated four times because each phase in our game is 15 minutes and there is four phases in one hour because of this. Good. Let's test this. Let's put some seeds into our inventory. Good. 
And why is targeting not working? Enable the tool character controller. Then add rule tile to the list of plowable tiles. So now we want to add an ability to skip time. Open daytime controller and create a new method called skip time. Inside calculate total uh, amount of seconds to skip, add those seconds to the current time. Inside the update, if I press key, key T, it will skip 4 hours. We will specify which parameter to use like this. This way you can be much more precise how much time you want to skip. In the game it will work. For some reason dropped seeds is not being picked up. Add the devs component to our seeds.
Good. Now if we plant something and press T, it will advance time further, and then we can gather this. One small fix, you see, if we advance time too much, it will nullify the time after moving to the next day. So instead, instead of nullifying the time, make it so we just decrease the time by the length of the day. Good, this is it for this episode. If you have any questions or any ideas about code, please leave your comment below. If you are interested in seeing what will come out of this, please subscribe. If you want to support further, you can find my Patreon in the description. Special thank you to Andrew V. Long for his generous support. With best regards, see you in the next episode.